The AirCam project is one in celebration of the 25th anniversary of the Young Eagles. We were looking for a replacement for one of our humble aircraft that we fly Young Eagles here at the museum. Currently we have a couple of glass stars that do that and we're looking to retire one of those and add a new aircraft so we thought that the AirCam would be a perfect aircraft to give a one-of-a-kind Young Eagle flight experience to those that come through the museum. The other thing that will provide EAA, which is going to be very helpful, is during convention time, during Air Venture, we will use it as a photo ship so that we can shoot some of our ultralight and slower homeboat aircraft. Kind of interesting in the fact that it was developed by Phil Lockwood to fly on photo missions um, over some amazingly inhospitable terrain, so where you couldn't afford an engine out. If you had to put down, there was no chance of survival. So the National Geographic actually wanted an aircraft that they could send on some photo missions. And so Phil developed that. In fact, we have the original prototype air cam here at the Air Venture Museum. So it's, a, it's kind of a neat story because our builders would look at the air cam hanging in the museum and you could really see the evolution of the kit from the original prototype to what we're building today. Part of the build came about because we, we wanted to celebrate the 25th anniversary, and but we were also looking at a way to possibly use more of our resources that we have here. We have some great facilities, and we wanted to see if there was enough interest in people coming to, to Oshkosh in the off season, so to speak, to work on a project like this. And so we looked to try to have a mix of people to work on it. So we had some brand new people to home building, but yet we had some other experienced tech counselors that volunteered as well. So we saw it as both a learning opportunity and a way for some experienced people to share their knowledge with other new builders and also to have some fun building aircraft because you know who doesn't like to do that. I got this thing that uh, they were restarting a newsletter for technical counselors and flight advisors called the Safety Wire. And the first item that they had in that email edition was this air cam project. So that appealed to me and uh, for various reasons I've been cooped up for several years. so. My kids heard about it and uh, encouraged me to get my tail up here. And uh, I finally caved in and came up here. Well, most of the last two days I've been deburring. When you drill a hole, especially in aluminum, you get a little sliver of metal that stays attached and that's got to be removed. And the edges of the metal will get a feather on them that uh, that has to be removed, so. As I found out today, I originally joined EAA in September the 17th, 1960. I couldn't remember the exact date, so that young lady in membership looked it up for me. I feel better than I felt in years. So the air cam, although we picked it more for its the, the end flying product result, it actually turned out to be a really good build project because you had a lot of sheet metal work on the fuselage. The wings had, a, they have a combination of both traditional Stitz polyfiber process on the ailerons and things like that, but the wings themselves are done much more like an ultralight style wing where there's kind of an envelope you, that you pull on almost like a sock and then uh, ha add the ribs to. So it's there's a lot of different methodologies in this one aircraft. So from a learning standpoint, it turned out great and everybody got a chance to try their hands at a lot of different things.
Well, I, I really want to thank the volunteers that made the commitment to come up here. I mean, we were asking for one week build sessions out of our builders. Uh, we had more people, once the word kind of got out, we had more people that wanted to do it than we could accommodate. Uh, so I think all in all, it was a great experience. I know the feedback was they would love to see something like this be done again. And when you think about it, we were able to build an aircraft pretty much in six weeks uh, of, of time, which is pretty amazing.